Envision Math, Grade 3, Topic 1, Lesson 2. Harvey the Hop Toad jumps four times in the same direction. He jumps five inches in each jump. How can you show how far he goes on a number line? Take another closer look at your word problem. Harvey the Hop Toad jumps four times. In the same direction, he jumps five inches each jump. How can you show how far he goes on a number line? If you take a look at our number line, always starting at zero, let's jump five inches. There's one jump. Let's jump another five. There's two jumps and another five. Three jumps and five more. There's four jumps. What number did he land on? 20. So we have one, two, three, four jumps, each of five inches with a total of 20 inches. Think of each jump as an arrow. Each arrow or jump is five inches. So we are showing you we have four jumps of five inches, which equals 20 inches. Harvey jumped 20 inches. How can you use number line to show multiplication? So Clara is making gift bags for her friends. She wants to put three glitter pens in each gift bag. How many glitter pens does Clara need? Take a look at your problem. She is making gift bags for her five friends and she puts three in each gift bag. We can see that she has five gift bags pictured here. If we use the number line, each gift bag is a jump with three pens. So we jump another three pens and another, there's three friends, four friends, five friends. She needs a total of 15 pens. It's just like skip counting. Three, Six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Skip counting by threes. Five times three equals fifteen. So Clara needs fifteen glitter pens. Now, what would skip counting by six look like on the number line? So if we were skip counting by six now, we would move all the way over to the six. Next we come the 12 and our number line currently ends at 16 but if we jumped another six we would end at 18. So the number line looks a little bit different when you are counting by sixes. So when we change the number we are skip counting by our jumps change with that unit length. Draw a number line to compare skip counting by threes four times and skip counting by fours three times. How are they different? How are they alike? So I am going to draw one number line. Remember we start at zero. So I will start by counting by threes four times. Remember, we're always starting at the zero. So we have, there's three, three, that's one, two jumps, three jumps, four jumps. Those are my threes. Now let's count by fours 
three times. Again, start at the zero. One, two, three. Hmm, how are they different and how are they alike? Notice, one number line shows three jumps. One number line shows four jumps. Also notice that the something that's similar is they both land on 12. So when you look at our red number line, we are skip counting by three four times, which equals 12. And then our blue number line, skip counting by four, three times, that also equals 12. Suki invites five friends to a party. She gives each friend two party favors. Each friend two party favors. How many party favors does she give out? show how to find the answer using the number line. So she has five friends and they each get two. So we're gonna jump five times and each jump will be two. So here's one, two, three, four, five. How many party favors does she give out? She gives out five party favors.